And on that note, I will call on Sheng Fen, Director General of IFPRI and 12.3 champion to set the scene for us. Thank you. Well, thank you, Joe. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, it's really good to see uh, such a big crowd here on the, uh, March 12th in the morning. I think March 12th is a special day for many of the people in, the, in my own country. It's the uh, so-called tree planting day. So you're supposed to plant, uh, plant maybe five to 10 trees somewhere, go outside to a little hill. <laughs> and also it's a day that uh, my university moved from one city to another, from Yangzhou to, to Nanjing. That was uh, many years ago. That was a day where we really celebrated the formal sort of a, um, it's a reform or the, the start of the reform of the Chinese system, including education held many. And what today, um, I think it's so great to see all of there. It, initially, you know, we were worried that you know, such a special topic if we maybe don't have many people in the room, but I'm so proud to see many of you here. So as uh, Charles said that I'm a champion of the 12.3 to reduce food waste and loss. I think really organized, hosted by WRI. So I really hope by the end of this event, all of you will become a champion, so not just me. So I'm very committed to do that. I hope, I hope you will be equally committed to that important cause. Why? Yes, we know that we are wasting 1.3, it's a billion tons of food every, every, every year. That's double the consumption of the Chinese total food consumption, annual food consumption. You can feed Africans probably four or five times per year just using that 1.3 billion tons of food. Indian probably three times, four times a year. And we also know that you know, the, um, the uh, one third of food waste for loss emits probably 8%, 9% of total greenhouse gas emission. That's almost one third of the total agricultural food and the deforestation emission. And we also know that most of the food wasted and lost are nutritious, healthy foods. So we can cut down the food waste, food waste and loss by half from now to 2030. That is a 12.3 goal. So we can win on many things. Win on climate change, win on food and nutrition security, win economically. So maybe triple win or quadruple wins. So if we did a study some years ago to use one of is to call the model, to model the economic impact of reducing food waste and loss. So every one dollar invested in reducing food waste and loss, you will have $17 in return. So huge, huge returns. So obviously we still have a lot of things that we don't know. Yes, we know that food waste is one third. We can challenge that number. I know when FAO announced that number some years ago, it is true that, well, we do waste lots of food, whether it's one third, whether it's a quarter, whether it's, a, whether it's 40%, it does not matter. The number is big. Now the question is, where do we waste? I and mean, we also know that uh, in rich countries, we waste a lot of food. In poor countries, we, we lose a lot of food, even before, you know, it's a two hour household, to, uh, before our consumption. So that's something IPRI is really working on, food loss. In fact, IPRI launched several studies under Rob's division's leadership to track, measure where food loss happens. And then we can really target, we can optimize our resources to make sure that our investment has the highest returns. So WRI likes to show the killer chart. <laughs> the killer chart, one chart can show you the big facts, big number that can really motivate our actions. I think I uh, really uh, point that. But this one, just to let you know that facts, the data, information are still very critical. We still don't know much about the loss, food loss part. So for example, uh, some of the case studies from China, Ecuador, Ethiopia, Guatemala, Honduras, Peru, will tell you, in fact, most of, of the food loss happens at farm, even before you move your food out, out of your farm. We already, already know probably 60, 70% of the food. So that's where we really focus on. Yeah, we have to look at the whole value chain, production, let's say processing, transportation, retailing, wholesaling, household consumption. Yes, the whole value chain. We must do that. But some of the case studies, 
that show uh, shows that we already lost lots of food even before we move the food outside of the farm. So where do we target our resources? Can we improve technology, storage, or even harvesting, handling at a household level, educate farmers, educate communities to really use their limited resources to tackle some of, some of the biggest challenges we face? So I'm really looking forward to today's big debate. I'm pretty sure many others will give you good examples and probably the action you wanted to take. And I hope by the end of this conversation, it's so not just you, your family, your network, your community will become a champion of reducing food waste and loss. This is such an important cause. We must all work together. Thank you.